Here's how the US military plans to build a temporary pier to provide aid to Gaza. During his State of the Union last week, President Biden announced an emergency mission to build a pier capable of receiving humanitarian aid for Gaza. This mission will be overseen by U.S. Central Command and conducted by the Army's 7th Transportation Brigade and Supporting Forces, with the goal of having the pier up and running in about 60 days. So, how do you build a pier over water? The idea is to utilize the military's Joint Logistics Over the Shore, or JLATS, capability a process in which the Army and Navy work together to offload equipment directly from ship to shore without touching land. This particular mission calls for a floating pier, an approximately 1,800-foot-long causeway that will be attached to the shore, and a group of logistic support vessels and barges that will transport aid from the pier to the causeway. Once the aid reaches the two-lane causeway, it can be transported to the land and distributed to Gaza. In short, the military will build a pier and road at sea in order to not put a U.S. boot on the ground. And that is how it works.